Hello everyone, I am Zulkers and welcome to Firewatch. I haven't done a lot of looking into this game, all I really know is it looks awesome. And it, you're like a fire watchman guy who looks out for fires. And it's like a mystery in Wyoming in like 1989 or something like that. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the game. This game was just released today on February 9th. So really excited to play this. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. So I guess we're going to get a little bit of a backstory here. You see Julia. Hi, Julia. She's about your age. Late twenties, laughing with the well-dressed professional or professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You're drunk. So what's your uh you know major? You you you're pretty major. You slur the words major and it smells like cores. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, you said. I am a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours? She sniffs there. Toxicology? Is that a burn? You ask. She says, definitely. Where did she hurt your feelings? She asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One look later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Yes. Finally have a girlfriend. Oh, hey, I can play now. Uh, click to use objects. Cool. Pick up a backpack. Um. I'm guessing this is my truck. What else is around here? Anything else I can, like, explore? There's a tire. Do I need a spare? No. Nothing really going on. Oh, load gear. Awesome. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while she's walking the job. Dog, it's badass. You pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the shepherd and name him Mayhem. Uh, we'll get the beagle. Bucket is a good dog and a week later, you totally forget about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. Yay, everything worked out. 1979, you, take, you talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m. And the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Uh-oh. Kids? They're not very smart. Or good at math. Or good at much. Wow, I need to like actually like learn to read. I'm saying if you and I have some. A couple of little idiots. Uh, that would be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. This is probably for the best their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Cool. Hey, where's my uh, backpack? Could have sworn I threw it in the back. Uh, thoroughfare trailhead. Did not forget to check in. No fireworks. Uh... It's not recommended for an expert in sight where blah blah blah. You're in their country. So bears. Yeah. Where am I? Can I crouch? No. 
Shouldn't be a you are here. I'm guessing maybe here. I don't know. Oh, this is a beautiful game. Birds are out and chirping. Oh. Oh, that didn't last long. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angry by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Hmm. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having fun time. You fight when she gets in between the sheets. I get mad. Oh. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and to not be such a baby. You call her shellfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Oh. Jelly still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. <laughs> you pose and flex like he man. You fry like a Victoria's Secret model. Nah, he man. You look awesome. I know. Uh, oh, that's so cool. Oh, I wonder if this is me uh, hiking out to the. Uh, Firewatch Tower. So this is like current time. And I'm just reflecting on the past. Two forks, fire lookout. Yep, I guess that's what's happening. Spacebar to climb over obstacles. Nineteen eighty two. During the summers you and Julie enjoy walk in bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Oh no. Bucket gets kicked. Ba ba. Fuck Doc! Julie yells. She gets fluttered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. I beat his goddamn face in. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julie asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say it's okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Probably a good call. 1984! Hey, that's when I was born. That year. Plants have kids. Get waylaid by work. Oh. Really gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. She has a great job, is such a department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Uh. Uh. I would move personally. Like, if that meant so much to the person I love, I would move with them. I'm gonna convince her not to take the job. You tell her that she that means you two won't have a family. She says that's bullshit. She's totally right. She asks if her taking the job means you won't come with her. You say yes. Again, bullshit. But she decides not to take it. Mm. Drilla is asked to leave uh, Boulder on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh. She was found crying in the stairwell. Uh, you say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Hmm. Should probably talk to someone about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having any tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset of dementia. She is 41. That's not good. Uh, you both decide to keep it a secret for now. Dementia is horrible. Hey, journal. Aha. Oh, he man. That's cool. Bucket is getting older. Drilly comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. 
A week later, she goes back to the university. Drilla's affection... Affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in her class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason, and she has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get... Some days you get the Julie who calls you a dope and your unborn child little idiot. idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are crushed and they begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. You spend your days following Julie around the house. She counts the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julie could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple minutes. You decide to move her to the full-time care facility or turn her to take care of herself. I'll take care of her. I guess I'm going this way. Yeah, little fog. That's really cool. Ah, oh, this game is just so pretty. I like it. I wonder if I'll see any bears. I like that he slows down walking across this. Oh, hey. I didn't see a bear, but I saw a deer. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for hours. Drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter. Drinking then too. You start going in, out after you pit her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. This is probably the bad thing to do, because you might become in a panic if she wakes up and walks around, and she can't get out. But this is also bad because she could possibly run out the front door. I think I'm going to put a chair in front of the door. You go to the same bar on the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home in a bed by 1am 1 1 a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. One night, you're stopped by a DUI checkpoint. You're you below a point ten or taken jail for the night. You consider to hide it, but you tell your sister in law, Susan. Julie's parents take the next plane to Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julie is coming to live with them. You don't argue. They'll say you visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Guessing this is where I actually get to play the game. Pretty, a very long introduction. I didn't realize it would have so much of its backstory, and I'm guessing all my options I choose is going to come up uh, during the game. Oh. I saw something come up, but it kind of went away very quickly. Hmm. Full moon out tonight. The moon looks really big. Ah, oh, I love the artwork on the uh, the mountains. Very simplistic. This game's so beautiful. I love it. Night sky, stars everywhere. No light pollution.
Fireworks Tower. Huh? Uh, left shift to activate. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? What? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... Sleep <laughs> forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Um... No one back home can stand you. Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, after this brief introduction, is not a big shock. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say this guy's kind of a you dick. Got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Firewatch Day One. Hey, I'm working on my novel. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Boring. Hey, all the boards are gone on the window. Sorry, I guess I slept in. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? Space puffs. 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Huh? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Someone dying? West facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh, in compass. Are those fucking fireworks? She just said was, right? Yeah. Yep. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set him straight. Ah, uh, fine. <laughs> like, like, kick the shit out of him sort of straight? <laughs> no, 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 Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. But I, but yeah, I kind of no, want to. I need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. Secure. Secure. Shut up. <laughs> uh, so can I take my backpack? Oh, it just takes my backpack. Cool. I really like that. That was really cool. Coming down here and then kind of grabbing on. Ah, oh, man. I love like little subtle details like that in video games. Uh, M to read map. Find a rope in NFC cash box 306. Okay, so I'm out there, cash 06, so I need to go west and follow the road. Cool.
So alright, well I'm gonna leave this episode here. I know I didn't get much, but thank you all for watching. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about this game. It's so pretty. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.